Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I have a rather unfinished, interesting build to show you guys. Uh, my Frostbolt character, I'm probably going to just relax on it for a little bit because it's not really optimized for this league that I'm playing on in the private league. It's more so for like the expansion, but we don't have the new skill yet, so that character doesn't really work very well. Totally would recommend Frostbolt on mines though. So uh, this character, we call him the Messenger because he's, uh, he's delivering a message. Now this is pretty much a meme character building around the gloves called Hemophilia. So this is a bleed bow gladiator that has consumed over 60 regret orbs learning to how to be played. Essentially with gladiator we get 50% bleed, uh, bleed chance from here. We get maim against targets that are bleeding. So we get free maim and we get 10% increased physical on top of the maim. And we get Gratuitous Violence, which creates a Boom Boom. Now, um, we ended up finding a Tabula Rasa. So I'm running Maim, Deadly Ailments, Vicious Proj, Split Arrow, Brutality, and Pierce. Uh, you can totally run on a 5 link unless you're doing single target. We're not going to talk about single target. That's for another video. Um, this is our bow. It's been crafted. It's pretty shit. But basically, it gives 63% increased damage to minions, which does work for us because we have minion scaling. Um, and we have level 10 despair, which is not very good for us, but it's something uh, Vuln would be much better, but this is pretty much what we're doing and for our clear instead of sp for single target We use frenzy uh, for people who are gonna ask puncture. Why not puncture? How come puncture? What about puncture? Puncture is really fucking bad. Let me explain why puncture gives you a hundred percent chance to bleed if you're playing a bleed build, you're probably going to have 100% chance to bleed. So unless they change Puncture to make it like Puncture deals 100% more damage against bleeding enemies or Flat Fizz against bleeding enemies or something, unfortunately, you just want to find the skill with the highest base damage and scale it. Um, but anyway, enough talking. Let's just show the character. I will note that this character is level 72, but I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're level 50 or 72 in Blood Aqueducts. The way this character scales its damage for AoE clear is you basically will deal the double pop because you have the Hemophilia and you have the Gladiator pop. Um, so it com I don't know if it does it separately or it combines it. It doesn't really matter. It's basically the exact same thing. Um, and you have a really nice explosion. Now that explosion scales with global physical damage, it scales with, uh, scales with area damage, it scales with minion damage. Guess what? Bleed also scales with minion damage. I can't do this just yet. So here you'll see the single target again. This is not really set for single target right now at all. Like I'm not even using the right gems. Uh, and of course this boss is not moving, so because he's not moving, it's gonna do no damage. Um, like, at all. But that's okay, right? The goal for this character is just to be able to clear, basically, to yellow tier maps. Um, if we do get a rear- the cool thing is if, if we get a rear guard, which is a block-based quiver, and, um, we decide to do uber lab, we get versatile combatant, which means that we can basically have our block in spell block, and for mapping, that's great. An example, I'm only going to shoot the top half. It killed pretty much the whole pack. Ooh, was not expecting a prophecy to proc on top of my face when all was vuln. That's a new one. I just wanted to show him go boom boom. <laughs> that, was, that was a little spooky. <laughs> Got, got some interesting content for YouTube, dude. Ooh. Uh, nobody saw that, dude. Nobody saw that. This guy is really mad right now. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I did not expect to find a bully like this on Blood Aqueduct. Get away from me, dude. Go away. 
Oh shit, there's more! <laughs> there's more, dude! Okay, we're good. What are the rules for the league? 20% uh, monster life. It's pretty much like pseudo solo self found. There's very limited trading. You can use the rule command to see what you're allowed to trade. All items drop magic, or sorry, all items drop white. There are no magic and no rare items, so you have to craft every single piece of your gear. Now, in terms of where we're pathing with the tree next, uh, I'm gonna be dropping Berserking. I need to drop these two minion clusters. We're gonna have to pick up Blood Magic. Um, the reason why we're not using a golem and or herald of purity is because here's the thing is if you shoot And you have four herald of purities and they run at the rare monster The rare monster is not gonna run at you if he's not gonna run he's not gonna take bonus damage So I don't use herald of purity for that reason uh, I'm thinking of setting up another skill for just knockback and or chance to flee because since we're gonna be blood magic based There's gonna be a lot of room for just like messing around with links and stuff uh, I'll just run another quick one just to show you guys like what this kind of looks like and the other nice thing is that when you're mapping, since monsters are going to have a lot more health, uh, the explosion will scale very nicely, and there will never be a corpse, so you don't really have to worry about detonate dead. Here's an abyss pack. do this just yet if it only drop blue but they're really white Tala Moana, warrior Alright, that's pretty much how the character is going to be and how it's going to clear. Like I said, the main issue for this character is going to be single target. We can get quite a bit of life on the tree, so I'm not concerned. It's like two, it's going to be 200 to 240% for sure. So like we have Mortal Conviction, we have the life nodes here, we have the life nodes over here. Uh, I've got Ranger Life to grab, I'm still picking up Herbalism over here. Um, and then I was going down this bottom route, but I decided to respec it. I was also going, I tried Crimson Dance out, and I'm going to explain the problem with Crimson Dance for a lot of people who don't understand bleed builds. And of course, everything I said is my opinion. The problem with Crimson Dance is, one, you need to hit eight times to get your full damage potential. So the first thing is, you need to be able to kill mobs with one to two bleed stacks very quickly. Because when you're mapping, it is unacceptable for you to have to hit a white mob eight times just to kill it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you don't typically scale attack speed with bleed. Attack speed is going to come naturally because it's going to feel good, but you're not trying to scale attack speed. You're trying to scale a big hit for your bleed. By using Crimson Dance and using a slow skill, it takes forever to get eight stacks. If you use something like Barrage, you cut your damage in half after Crimson Dance cuts your damage in half. So you're actually doing like the exact same damage. And then under the theoretical instance of if a target is standing still like Katava, Crimson Dance is really good because you can never get Katava to move. I don't even think you, you, you probably cannot knock her back or use like chance to flee. But if a target is moving, then Crimson Dance barely gives you a damage boost to my knowledge, unless it scales in some type of way that I'm not really aware of with its multipliers. But I've tried Crimson Dance out and it felt really, really, really bad. Um, I'm sure, like I said, if you could get ridiculously high bleed damage scaling, Crimson Dance would be awesome because at that point 
you don't really have to worry about the baby bleeds. You just have to worry about the big bleed that you're applying on the boss because most other stuff is whatever. Um, I mean, I've tried with bloodletting. I've tried with I've tried bleed characters before previously, and I've never really gotten them to work necessarily. Um, but this character is a little different. This character is not meant for single target. This character is meant for the boom boom, which is what you see with the gratuitous violence along with the hemophilia gloves. Um, unfortunately for lab, we don't really have anything necessarily except for like outmatch and outlast but even outmatch and outlast doesn't necessarily work just because we don't kill with our main hand or offhand we kill with an explosion which i'm pretty sure is counted as nothing um but at least we can still from blood rage we would have 10 uh, percent more physical which is really good for bleed and it's really good for the explosion because the explosion is physical um yeah Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to give you guys the little rundown on how this character is working so far. It's been pretty fun. Uh, Mini K wants to say hello to you guys as well. Here's Mr. Mini K. Definitely, probably not the best league to try a bleed character in, considering everything is 20% more life in this league, but that's kind of what makes it more fun as well, right? So anyway, I'm going to catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Have a wonderful time, everyone, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow.